It's been three months since I came back to Rwanda. As someone who was living abroad for almost six years, there has been a lot of challenges. I can tell you that my life was really good. <laughs> You're not standing one way. We are moving. Whenever, as an African, you get an opportunity to go to live abroad, I was thinking that my problem will be solved by money, like everyone else. And uh, it took me a couple months. I went to work in a factory for almost four months. And supplies, it's me who left the job. I had to face myself. I had to learn also to go dig deeper why I was in that situation. It took me time to realize I was not really in my thing. Today, it's my first week in Kigai. I've been visiting family members and friends, also doing some projects. Currently, I was in a village trying to connect with my ancestor. I went to a place called Gikongo, it's where my father is from, and also another place where my mother is from. Uh, for me, the journey was to refresh again uh, with the people I have met, with uh, the conversation I had with people. I've been here now for three months. I have done collaboration with shops and also with designers. And yes. Now I have my own studio, I can work with people. And also I'm learning at the same time the studio lighting and uh, trying to use what I have because as a photographer, you always need more. And the challenge is how can you use the simple stuff you have right now. This is why I'm trying this YouTube channel. I have camera, I have light, but I'm trying to complain that I don't have something to talk about. This is one of the episodes. I'm sharing my life, I'm sharing what I'm doing. I'm also grateful for all the people who have been supporting me with through like, through comment, and uh, see you in another episode.